Hi, for this video I want to show you how to use the originality report, which checks for plagiarism um, when you are checking writing assignments. Now we've created a writing assignment here for um, week two, paragraph about your city. <clears throat> no students have turned it in yet. Um, and so let's go to the student view now. The student, when you create the assignment, the student will receive an email in their um, uh, inbox and it will say, hi, your professor posted a new assignment, paragraph about your city. And they can click on open um, to open that assignment or they can go to Google Classroom to the classwork section and there it is under week two. They can do it that way. So let's click on that. The student can read the assignment. I've given just minimal directions, but there we go. They click on view assignment and let's imagine that they've already written it. So they click on add or create. This student's work is in Google Drive, so they will just upload it. Now they need to upload it in um, Google Docs format so that they can check for plagiarism. Now the student has a choice where it says originality reports. They can run their own originality report and check for plagiarism themselves. Some students do that, some students just ignore that. Um, let's imagine that this student ignored it and they just clicked on turn in. And they're gonna turn it in even though they did not run their originality report. All right, so they have submitted it. Let's go to the teacher view. Now it says one student has turned in this assignment. So we click on that. You can see that this student named test user uh, completed their paragraph assignment. So if you click on that, It'll open it up here. And there it is, paragraph about my city. And over here it says no flagged passages, which means that the originality report um, ran this paragraph and they did not find any, um, any plagiarism. All right, and now over here on the right side, you can um, run your, or make a grade, like for example, 35 out of 50 or whatever you want. Let's say you give them a 40 out of 50. You can add private comments. Great job. Um, you know, try to use longer sentences next time or whatever you want to say for that. Okay. And that is the kind of the basics of the originality report. Uh, I will do one more video about the originality report showing one that has plagiarism and see what you can do from there. Um, in the meantime, Let's imagine that they get a 40 out of 50. You post a comment if you want to. When you, and you post the comment right there, then you click return, and the student will immediately be able to see their grade. So Mr. Test User, let's go back here. English 101, checks his classwork. He goes down here and it says graded. So you can click on view assignment and he can see his grade 40 out of 50 right here. The student can also go to the classwork section and then it says view your work and they can see the list of assignments and their grades right there. So as soon as you grade it, the student sees their grade and I believe it also posts in their email. Let's see here, graded, yes. So they can see the grade right there in their email and they can also see your private comment, great job. All right, so that's a bit about grading, writing as written assignments, and using the originality report. And we will do one more. The next video will be about if the student actually does plagiarize.